If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 22 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and they have 24-7 support. Head over to MuttReserve.com and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over solo battles, packs, coins, free rewards, and a bunch of other stuff today that is brand new into the game. Now, if you played Madden, it's not new to you. But if you're playing this Madden, right, it's new to this Madden. So... First off, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always, and of course, if you guys want to be shouted out in the Poodle Squad, shout out, comment down below, Poodle Squad, like the video, and be sub to the channel, and I will shout you out. If you guys need coins, head over to Mutt Reserve down below, and always use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. Take advantage, guys. So many good legends that you do need in this game right now, so make sure you are picking some up. Next, shout out to today's Poodle Squad member, Don L. Bailey. Shout out to you, man. I saw you asking for your shout out, and here it is. All you gotta do is comment. You get your shout out, boys. But yeah. Let's get into this video, guys. So today we're going to be covering solo battles. Show off your skills with new opponents and rewards each week. Now, solo battles is big for a few reasons. Before I get into it, guys, I want to show you one of the more, more important reasons to play it as well. If you come over here to your cam chancellor, it says earn stats and complete drills, right? So you have all these things to be doing. So first off, your solo battle game stats also count in here. So don't think that you're not getting this done. You'll be getting this done as well. And then more importantly, if you come over to win solo battles and head-to-head -head games, you have to win a total of 75 solo battle or head-to-head -head season games. And they do combine, I believe. Um, I, I mean, I, I believe they combine. So hopefully they do. So if that all makes sense, there should be about 12 solo battle games, give or take, to play this week. So if you play all 12, plus you have any head-to-head -head wins, you will complete the first bracket. Also, these are offline games. So as long as you're not like horrible or you get really unlucky or play dumb, by the way, best advice for solo battles, just play smart. Um, don't don't be bombing the ball. Don't do anything stupid unless the zones are broken there too. Literally, you could do like level sail like all game and just check down to the running back or hit the tight end all game because it's. I'll, I'll explain all that in a second. But just play safe, get the lead, and then we'll discuss more. But if you play all those games, you should be able to complete the first bracket of win 15 solo head to head battle or head to head season games, and then so on and so forth. Because head to head's kind of hard right now with the way zones are broken, with the Xbox turn off glitch, with lag outs, with a bunch of stuff. It's hard to get those wins consistently. So. It would be nice to be able to double up on playing both as well as getting some rewards for both because solo, solo battles are typically as decent rewards. So now let's get to solo battles, right? That was the preface on there. Just letting you guys know where that does help with. Now come over to solo battles. Oh, also, in Ultimate Season as well, if you come over here, you will see there'll be like, um, I clicked the wrong thing, didn't I? If you go to Ultimate Season down here, you will see there's a bunch of objectives regarding that too. So there'll be your, your weekly objectives will be like head-to-head -head stats as well. Um... Sometimes there'll be some solo battle stuff in here, depending on the week. I, oh, earn 3,500 battle score in solo battle. So there you go. There'll be 2,000 um, XP or 2,000 coins, 1,000 XP. There'll be superstar stuff, open season, first quarter. Go through all of it. Check it out and see what does apply because, of course, you will need stuff from there, too, as well, which will help you level up. But, yeah, let's go to solo battles. Guys, real quick, there are game changer packs in the store right now. As you guys can see, eight times game changer bundle. Not a bad looking bundle, honestly, for only 50 bucks. I mean, I guess that's still a lot, right? But I mean, it is pretty cheap in comparison to the other bundles, so that's not bad at all. 48 plus gold or better players. They're kind of like gridiron packs, but a little bit better. Um, you're gonna get less than though, but each game changer pack does guarantee the, the topper does guarantee an 84 plus elite. The pull rates are an 85 plus is 8%. So if you go over here to a gridiron pack, right? Which would be kind of, I guess, the comparable pack to uh, that. The gridiron packs are somewhere, right? Gridiron pack. 84 plus 7.6. So you're getting a better rate on the gridiron packs, of course, the gridiron, I mean, on the game changer, but the gridiron bundle, of course, does give you more. So give or take, you get 12 here. I'd probably stick with the game changer pack. It sounds like a lot better, plus the topper. Honestly, not a bad bundle. I like it. But yeah, it's better for that. So let's get into this. So getting into the solo battle screen, this is the featured opponent for the week. His team is YOLO. I'm not sure exactly how they pick teams. I'm pretty sure it's just random uh, throughout people in the community. Opponent select. There's These are real people and real teams. So for this, the first drop, right? So there's, there's usually three to four parts. So if you see up there, 47 hours until the next update. So you usually want to get these games done within the first 47 hours. And then on like Wednesday, they'll update. So right now, 48 hours from now will be Wednesday morning, right? So right now you have the four opponents and the featured opponent. Make sure you do play these before Wednesday morning. And then once you play those at the updates, there'll be like an RT in the bottom. Like I'll say, click RT to update. And you'll update to the next week's opponent or the next few days opponents. And then again, on like Friday or Thursday, they'll update again. So that will be your 4, 8, 12 plus your featured opponents, which I think comes out to like 15, give or take. So 15 total games. And again, you want to be playing all these. Now, each game you do play will give you a X, it'll give you XP, coins, and they're going to give you a score, a battle score. Now, this score is important for a few reasons, right? Let's go over the two types of people, right? In solo battles, there's the people who just want to win and place in the in the ultimate, right? Or legend now. So these are the rankings. 
everything you do gets you in the rank so if you don't play you're unranked amateur is going to be 5,000. now from my experience of playing this game typically a really good solo battles game can go anywhere from like 18 a solo battles game can go anywhere from like 18,000 to 25,000, if i'm not mistaken um give or take i don't exactly remember the exact math on it but i'm pretty sure that's how it works like 18 to 25,000, if you play so Typically, you know, you, you win one game, you'll be in rookie. You win two games, you should be in pro. You win like five or six games, like five games, I think. You'll be around, you'll be above veteran. Six or seven, you'll be in star, so on and so forth. So pretty much to place legend, guys, typically, if everything stands the same way, all you gotta do is just win. So for all those guys who know they're not gonna be top 100 sweats, like you don't wanna put all that, because guys, it's kind of stressful, because remember, to place higher, so every game you get a score. Let's say on average, a win's 24K. But if you go extra, like you drop 70 points with like 30 first downs. By the way, everything matters. First downs, sacks, interceptions, tackles, receptions, um, yards. Everything matters. So let's say you want to, every game is going to be like a 50 minute game. You're going to be dropping like 70 points, touchdowns, sacks, mid blitz, all that stuff, right? If you want to do all that, it's only going to give you an increase of a few thousand points per game, which in the end, after 12 to 15 games, will amount somewhere in the top 100. But remember, for whatever reason, you have a bad game or anything, you could spend all that time and have like one bad game and you won't be in top 100. So it's still a very risky strategy to go ahead and put all that time and effort into trying to do it. Sometimes the best bet, which is typically what I and probably most people do, I'm going to go into the game, hopefully start with the ball or whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm going to score my first touchdown, get one stop on defense, and then I'm chewing clock. Two o'clock, it will be like a full game solo. In that sense, you could probably do a you could probably do a whole solo battle in under 20, 20, 25 minutes, which means you could do about two an hour, which means the whole set will probably take you about three hours to do all of them uh, each time. So that's probably what I will do because the two o'clock is just easier, and then you're pretty much guaranteed legend. You just don't don't lose a game. Just make sure you win them all. I'm not entirely sure the full breakdown of scores and stuff this year, but you want to get all the way here. So if you get to legend, which is what most people will get, I'll go over MVP too, in case you lose a game or two. But the legend gets fifty nine thousand coins, so let's round up to sixty k coins. You get two Hail Marys, two midfield packs, and two red zone packs. In years past, you could quick sell the red zone packs for some coins as well as the midfield packs. Uh, you could take coin quick sells. Uh, I heard that that wasn't a thing anymore. I'm not sure if that's true. But overall, if you can quick sell, you will get about 100K for placing legends. So that's 100K a week. Let's just round around. Right? 100K a week you'll be getting. Plus, those red zone packs actually do guarantee elites, although they've usually been trash in years past. But pretty much, you're getting 100K coins per week. So this is about 400K a month. If you just do the bare minimum, you just win the games. That's 400k a month. That's really not bad. If you do the math in this, um, that would mean that you could make between now and December within the rest of this year, at least close to a million coins. Uh, well, definitely more if you make 400k a month, but between a million, two million coins, that's actually really good. Yes, people say on, on face value, all these packs aren't, you know, you only get 100k. But yeah, if you add it all up and so what you get and you do this weekly, I know it takes time, but it's probably more, it's probably more uh, rewarding than any other mode in the game. If you really, really think about it, uh, besides weekend league. But weekend league is online, so for most people, it's going to be hard to get more than a few wins in weekend. For the for the casual player, it's going to be hard to get more than like five wins on weekend league. For a, a slightly above average, like an above average player like myself, I could probably get like fifteen wins, fifteen to eighteen on a, on a weekly basis. And then for the really really good guys, they end up in like the twenty to twenty five range. Now again, the only way you're getting really good rewards is if you're really in that twenty to twenty five range. 7, 15 to 18 is like the bare minimum again which solo battles is probably a lot less stressful than that but again online games are more fun so i i, I mean i'd recommend doing both but again not everyone can manage to do both now if you guys know what top 100 is oh someone someone already played two games do they quit both games it, it's been out for like four minutes they must have quit both they have 150 battle scores zero wins in two games but he's ranked one in the world because he quit both his games if i was him i'd screenshot that um anyways so yeah solo battles gonna be a fun time Gonna, gonna, gonna be nice the first week. I mean, I'll, I'll see how much I do of this year of it because again, I have to see how time consuming it is with videos and everything, but it's exciting. So yeah, make sure you do your featured opponent first, then do your four, make sure you get all these done. And then of course, by the 48 hours, you can go ahead and update by then and then go through it. And of course you'll see your ranks, ranks one through 100. Typically, like I said, rank 100 will be more than the legend tier of amount of points, usually unless no one plays it. Um, but I doubt that it's probably gonna be pretty, uh, pretty hectic the first week in terms of people, you know, entering it, but not, not everyone's gonna be like meta yet. No. The exact guide and how to score and do everything so you know that it will be a bit easier this week to get into the top 100 and the easiest weeks typically the first week or two but again you may not know how to do it yourself either so you may you may f you may falter a little bit but i pretty much wrapped up today's video guys free packs free coins a lot and rank one look if you get rank one in the world 335k coins two midfield packs two hail marys two red zones four touchdown packs and 88 overall plus if you just get top 100 you do get um three touchdown packs which you weren't getting before which is pretty cool if you get 75 to 51, you get that. 
but yeah, pretty good. Pretty good rewards. I like it, guys. You can easily get up over a million coins worth of rewards if you just do this every single week. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. If you do need coins to build a God Squad to play these battles, our weekend league and everything, head over to what reserve down below. Use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. Like the video and comment down below Poodle Squad if you want to be shouted out. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.